Hello everybody, how's it going? In the previous video we created a nice form like this, which looks nice but it doesn't do anything. So in this video we are going to use smart forms so that the user can fill out this form and click on this submit button. And when the user clicks on this submit button, an email with all the data will be sent to our email address. By the way, this video is part of a larger course about Bootstrap Studio. You can find the full course on Udemy or Skillshare. Check out the link in the description. In Bootstrap Studio, it's actually quite simple to implement this. So let's get started. First of all, go to the overview panel and select the form. Then go to the options panel and toggle smart forms. Over here, we can select the email address where the form data will be sent. I already have an email address here, but if you don't have one, you need to click on manage to add one. Enter the address over here and click on create. You will need to verify the email address using the verification code that Bootstrap Studio will send to you. Since I've already added a recipient, I will skip this step. Once you've added a recipient, go back to the option panel and choose it from this drop down list. To make sure that the user does not leave any of the fields blank, we can use this validation field. If we set it to required, the user will get an error message if they leave it blank. Let's select all these radio buttons using the control key to select more than one at a time and go to validation and select required. And let's do the same with the email input field. Finally, it is important for us to set the button type to submit. Okay, now we are ready. Let's see this smart form in action by creating a preview. As you can see, when we try to submit without filling out the appropriate fields, we get an error message. We even need to make sure that it's a valid email address. And we can upload a file. When we click on the submit button, we get this CAPTCHA to prove that we are not robots trying to take over the world, naturally. Okay, our email has arrived. Let's check our inbox to see more specifically what it says. The email contains three pieces of information and an attachment. We set the names of those radio buttons to size and color, so that's why we see size and color here. When we look at the value though, we see it doesn't really make sense. We got S for size and on for color. Also, the name of the email address doesn't make sense. So let's go back to Bootstrap Studio to fix this. Let's set an appropriate value for each radio button. And for the email address, let's set the name. OK, let's test it in a preview. Great. As you can see, now it's much easier to understand the new form submission. So as you can see, Bootstrap Studio makes it quite easy to add a smart form to our website. We can use this to create our own contact forms, our own order forms, etc, etc. But if we want to create a more advanced functionality, we would need to use JavaScript. And that's what the next chapter is going to be about. We will start by deactivating this email address and add an opt-in checkbox. A lot of people feel intimidated by coding, but I assure you there is absolutely no need. Coding is actually lots of fun. 
but we won't need it for the rest of the course. So if you think JavaScript is not going to be useful for you, or if you already know JavaScript, or even if you just don't feel like it, or whatever reason, if you feel like skipping the next chapter, then go ahead and skip it, and I will see you in the last chapter about exporting and publishing. If, on the other hand, you are enthusiastic to learn a little bit about JavaScript, then I will see you in the next chapter. So long for now. Bye bye.